I, I know it won't make much, but let's say it pulls in 60 million worldwide and then sells on DVD. You've made a profit. Why don't they do it, Zanandi? Why? <laughs> Why? I do not have the answers. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Now, I think I really love it, though, that they're doing all these. Because, I mean, like, that's the thing. It's also, again, about being creative. Like you said, they're using the same sets over and over. But think about it, like, in the school, the only the only like um, space that you really see over is, like, the hallway where the lockers are and then Mr. Fletcher's classroom. I think that's the only space that really gets recycled. Like the bathroom, every time it's a different angle, so it mm -hmm. looks different every time. You've got like with the dance, you've got like the spook owls that they build. That's all neon and actually made me think about the guests. Um, like, you know, that neon spook owls yeah. vibe. Like, for that was an actual location. They were, they were supposed to shoot in a, um, a bowling alley and they found that golf course with the, the black light. Oh, cool. Sorry, cool. I interrupted you, but I, I, I have so many, yeah. I have so much research on this. I had to throw that out. <laughs> Yeah, you need to get them out now, like, yeah. quick. <laughs> Bullet points. But, yeah, I think, like, um, you know, it never felt like, oh, okay, we're at the school again here. And mm -hmm. it never felt like that at all. And just shows you how much you really can do. Like, I honestly like it. I like to hear that a movie had a small budget and it still did well and it looked so well. Because I don't, I don't feel like you need all the money in the world to, like, you know, put your creativity out there. I think that's kind of a cop out. Um, mm -hmm. It's too easy. Like <laughs> I'm more impressed with people that can take six more and do a freaking good looking movie. Yeah. Like without, being, Ooh, Ooh, <laughs> they, you know, this looks pretty crap. No, even the CGI thing with the whole like Aztec ruin thing that they were at the temple, like that looks so good. Mm hmm. Oh, I love the look of that. There's nothing in this movie that really took me out or felt stretched. And that's nothing. what I dig about it. And six million. Six million. That's nothing. If you look at movie budgets, that's like, and I mean, I'm sorry, but that just proves that you can do it. So I'm like, what's everyone else's excuse? And I remember I tweeted about that. <laughs> I, tw I tweeted about that. And Catherine Newton liked it on Twitter. Oh, yeah. Like, when oh. we did the horror. Yeah. 2020. Yeah. Very, yeah. I was like, hey, that's cool. Hey, I got something that's fun cool. for us before we get out of here, okay? This is what I want to do, because I want to honor Tony Gardner. He was a special effects uh, makeup on this. He was responsible for the uh, Alan Rucks being body, uh, body being ripped in half, all the gags, all the neck gags, all the bloody gags. So if you oh, yeah? if you type in Tony Gardner on IMDb, can you... Uh, American designer, got yeah, him. Got him. So... I want to do something. I want to do a Tony Gardner draft where you pick five Tony Gardner movies that he, anything he's worked on. You pick five Tony Gardner movies and I pick uh, in the makeup department. He has 167 credits just in the makeup oh, department. Oh, I see. Oh, Hocus Pocus. And so, Sunny I mean, Land. there oh. is a lot here. I mean, actually, you can pick anything. He's done 57 spe oh, wow, special effects. He was the animatronic effects supervisor on Cult of Chucky. So he's done all the special effects. He's been working on Chucky forever. Anything from his page. Like the guy was on Cocoon. He was in Thriller. Uh, Evil Dead 2. Lost Boys. So you can take anything in here from his his IMDB page. And we'll pick five each. Amazing. Okay, cool. He yeah, designed the mascot you. mask for Happy Death Day, by the way. Oh, uh, that's cool. Yeah. That's a good mask. That's a good mask. And, like, I felt like we also needed a new mask. And I think, yeah, he nailed it. Got He's a been a costume designer. In in, he was an uncredited costume designer in Tank Girl. What? Yeah. Isn't that awesome? All right, so you, I'll yeah. give you first pick. I mean, there's hundreds of movies to pick from, so good luck, because you're going to have to sort through a lot. Yeah, I'm sorting. I'm sorting. Oh, you're going to hate me. Yeah, like, sorting. Go so ahead and hate me. Do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, shame, no. No, do it. Let's go, let's, let's, let's promote this guy's work. Let's show the big stuff he's worked on. You know, I love this movie a lot, though. So, like, you pick ringers. Me. I'm, it's Smoking Aces. I'm oh, oh okay. There. Yeah, and he did the I work love, on that. I love Smoking Aces. Yeah, amazing. Wow, he's done a lot. A lot of TV shows in here, too. All right, I thought you were gonna, I thought you were gonna pick Aliens or something because he's worked on Aliens. I'm still getting there. <laughs> A lot. And like I say, there's a lot of TV shows in here, too. Wow. All right. Since you didn't take a, a huge ringer with your first pick, I'll I'll try to pick one, too, that's not like a, a gigantic no, man, movie. Go for it. No. 
I want to find something. I, I just want to really promote the. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll take um, Jackass. He did a lot of the stuff on Jackass. So he's done oh. Jackass 1, Jackass 2. I love it. Uh, what's your second movie you're going to take from him? I don't know. This is a different. <laughs> he was on the craft. Yeah. What? Yeah. He worked on the craft. Yes. That I thought you were going to pick that first, actually, when you said it. <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, listen, I'm scrolling down. So, like, I'm going from new to old. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, so You're many... not surprised I took the craft. He not... was on Thriller. That's so cool. All right. Uh, let's see. All the Chucky Maybe. movies. He did a lot of. He's done a lot of animatronics. He was on Happy Death Day. But I pick that all the time. <laughs> I'm always picking but that go movie. For it. Uh, I want to. I want to. Let's see. I want to pick something different though, just so people can be like, "Holy crap! He worked on that." He did Zombieland. Jeez Louise. So good. He did the animatronic cat effects in Hocus Pocus. Wow. And the makeup effects design and the special makeup effects art as well. I need to hurry up here. People are just... uh, But I just like reading from his IMDb. Okay. I'm I'm going to cheat a little bit, but I love the makeup. And I remember watching this movie and absolutely adoring it. So I'm going to say Dark Man. I was looking at it right now and that would have been my next pick. So good one. Good one. Fantastic. All right. Who's your third? Okay. I'm going to pick, like, the one where he was special makeup and animatronic effects designer um, and supervisor, and the whole thing is the blob. Yeah. He's done so much. He's done so much, dude. Amazing. All right. I know Army of Darkness is a ringer, so I won't take that. I'll take it, man. I'll take a ringer after you. Okay. I'll do – because he did Evil Ash. I love Evil Ash, so you got to do that. Uh, All right, so yeah, yeah. you get a ringer now. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go with what? I- I'm going to take Army of Darkness. Okay, Army of Darkness. Then I'm going to take The Lost Boys. Oh, yeah, good one. There's some great effects on that one. Yeah, no, I watched it like a while ago again. Yeah. What's his, oldest, what's his oldest Chucky movie? Let's <laughs> say I'll take one of those. I'm not going to do Evil Dead 2. That's way too much. So I will take... I really like Cult of Chucky, so I'll take Cult of Chucky because that showca- cool. that showcases his animatronic work. Yeah, exactly. All right, so I'm we each so get still... one more. You have Smoking Aces, The Craft, The Blob, The Lost Boys. One more. Ooh, I'm sorry, but yeah, like, I... wow, just going through so many things. He was he worked on Freddy Got Fingered. <laughs> <laughs> and there's something about Mary. Oh, he was a gorilla word. supervisor on Ace Ventura: When Nature Calls. Oh wow! Okay. That's something. He was on Royal Tenenbaums. He did props. He worked on Adaptation, too. Well, that's a good one. Oh, he did miniatures in Hard Rain. Oh, my word. Sorry, I'm taking, like, it's it's taking a while now. This is fun, though, isn't it? It is. Oh, and he was on Zombieland. I'll take Zombieland. I love love Zombieland. Perfect. I know that's the No, 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 it's perfect. And he, you know, he did the animatronic animals and three amigos too. That makes me really happy. Oh, for real? Yeah. All right. This is probably going to cost me everything, but it's a Rennie Harlan movie. So I'm going to have to take Mine Hunters. Okay. Yeah. I saw Mine Hunters and I don't know that one. It's a bunch and of it's profilers. Rennie? Yeah. Rennie Harlan profilers go into an island and there's a serial killer. Is it fun? Should I watch it? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Do it. It's. It's better than people say, and I like it. I'm going to cover it eventually on the on the podcast. i got to cover all Rennie. But, yeah, so here's what we're going to do. You have Smoking Aces, The Craft, The Blob, The Lost Boys, Zombieland. I have Jackass, Dark Man, Army of Darkness, Cult of Chucky, Mine Hunters, And then I'll just add about 50 other movies he's worked on below us. Like, also check out – you know, you know yeah. I'll, just, I'll just say watch Special these. Mentioned. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean – just yeah, ridiculous. do it because that's what the that's the impressive part really is like, and even the shows. Wow, he's been on everything. I'm glad we got to promote Tony Gardner. That makes me happy. So that was a fun way to to end this. So okay, oh, so cool. before we get out of here, uh, favorite favorite kill, favorite moment, favorite line. Okay, favorite kill. Hmm, I would probably have to go for like. I love the entire opening scene. Like, I feel all the all my favorite kills is in the opening scene. But okay, I have to choose one. I'm actually going to go with that beer bottle because, like, so here's the thing. That scene was set up very well. Classic horror. Guy bends down, picks yeah. up the broken glass, comes up. Like, you're waiting for someone in the background to jump out and get this guy. So it's like the slow build. And then he does. 
But then what happens? Like when he shoves that freaking bottle into this guy's mouth and then pow, snaps it and it comes through his neck. That that was very, very good. So I'm going to go with favorite kill, first kill, favorite kill. Tennis racket all day. I knew you were going to say, like, I wanted to, like, because that's a good one. But yeah, like, I think the bottles, like, maybe Scooch is just better. Like, the, <sighs> the bottle, the neck fantastic. gag was wonderful, though. I mean, the tennis racket was too quick, but it just made me laugh. The 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 bottle's Every way time. better, way better. Every time the tennis racket is hysterical. Right. It's and just hysterical. Favorite moment? <laughs> favorite moment is is also like a difficult one, but I'm going to maybe say the one where he's in the bathroom and like floppy ants eats her, and then he and then she asks, "Do I wipe?" I think I'm going to say that's my favorite. Oh, <laughs> We've yeah. got a lot of favorite moments and scenes, really. Like I said, I love the dental dam. I love also where she's running away, uh, you know, when the butcher comes. And she's running away in that beaver mascot outfit. That I love every time. It's so funny, like, <laughs> trying to run away in this oh, it's thing so funny. she's got on. It makes so. me so happy. And I love when he goes, is she cute? Is she looking cute today? Oh, man. <laughs> okay, so favorite my... Moment? My favorite moment. Oh, geez, Louise. Favorite moment. So many. <sighs> okay. So um, many. Okay. Favorite moment. Favorite moment. What's there's so there's too many. Okay, I need to hurry up here because we got we gotta get out of here. Um, well, I had to pick one, so you need to. Pick I like. One. I guess this the. There's too many. You like you love the car scene. Yeah, because they went Way for it. Like I like that they went for that, right? They. Yeah. I never saw that. I I I was never watching this going. Yeah, Booker and and uh, Millie are gonna kiss here, and then they do, and I'm like, oh, I appreciate Landon. He goes for it. Like I did not see that coming, and that was just Same. so different. Like that's there's just something different about it, and I enjoyed that. So I'll say that. And then my favorite it line. My yeah. favorite line is the, the bit about the hot dog water because Megan and I were like, "What? What does that mean?" So we started researching hot dog water. So uh, that was probably my favorite line, I would say. It's the hot dog water. What was? What is that again? She said that Vince Vaughn smelled like hot dog water. Oh yeah. I don't, <laughs> but we researched that forever, and then I don't know why, but the whole thing like I skipped. I, I'm missing API bio. I'm not here for like a clam jet. I was like, "What, Ryler? You're a maniac." So that was pretty funny too. Uh, yeah, one of the I would say the hot dog water because that made Megan and I research stuff. So I'll say that. Nice, nice. Yeah, I think my favorite line from like there's a lot of great lines. I love the clam jam line, so funny. But I think the last line is probably my oh, favorite. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm a freaking beast. Like I mean, because not only is it a great line, but what a last line to end a movie on. I mean, that was just like yeah, and then credits roll. That was like perfect. Perfect, perfect final line. I think it's really difficult to find the perfect final line um, and not be too obvious about it. And I just thought this one was so badass and like also mm -hmm. so like, of course, that's what she's going to say. And it made me very happy. So the final line is my favorite line. I, the guest has a good one, too, where she's like, what the F? <laughs> I love it. Well, I guess I guess maybe any like line with F in it will be my favorite. And then Swiss Army Man has that too, which I like. But no, well, hey, thank you so much for joining. Hey, do you want to? Uh, well, Twitter, right? Do you want or your work? Do you want to tell people where to find you before we get out of here? Yeah, no, I'm on Twitter. You can check me out to ninety on Twitter. That yeah. is, that's that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and also, uh, this is gonna be released later, but I put out our Wolf of Snow Hollow episode today. So. Uh, that's out, so check out our episode we just recorded about the Wolf of Snow Hollow. Well, we recorded back a while ago, but it's out now, so you can look for that. And then I'll include your name when I drop the post and everything. But thank you so much for joining me, Zanandi. Thanks. Always fun. This was great. All right, so for me, Mark Hoffmeyer, and for Zanandi Boetis, this is Movie Films of Flicks. We'll see you next week.